right, it's painting day. Woohoo! It's time to paint the bullet's bumper. Okay, you know what? You probably can't hear me right now. I just realized that. Uh, give me one second. We're back at it with the bumper. I, I forgot. <laughs> I just realized I completely forgot to set up the camera. Uh, I'm still a rookie at this stuff. Okay, so what I've started doing is I started primering. I've got, I got a pretty good primer that I used on the car that I seem to like a lot. This SEM, it's a high build primer surfacer. So I like to throw this, it's number uh, 42013. So as you can see here, we've got, I'm at about, I'm at, I think two coats on this thing. And it coats really well. It's gotta be sanded still, but I had to put kind of a, a third coat right in this area right here. And I think I might have to just hit it another time, but you can still see right about here, you can still see the, uh, the black, parts of the bumper the original plastic from where i sanded through the paint and the original primer so i have to hit that spot again i still got to flip it over and hit the bottom pieces of this so we are almost done it's you know it's still going to be prime or i'm sorry we're almost done with the bumper it's still got to be uh wet sanded to take down the rough texture of it and it'll be ready for paint at that point uh, i've ordered some clear from off ebay this this stuff I like to use which is Nason which I used on the car it's Nason select clear 496 they didn't have it around here so I ordered it in a court uh, and the 4378 uh, activator which is mid temp activator which is perfect for right now because it's starting to get warm this spot right here it looks kind of funny because I, sp I didn't spray all the way across I didn't spray all the way across my mistake but with this being a primer that's sandable it'll be fine uh, it looks really weird because the way the light's hitting it. These are not dents in the bumper. This is just, this is the way I sprayed it just now. So that'll get sanded down and evened out. I was trying to cover these little sand through spots right in here. I'll probably have to hit it again. But anyway, uh, this is where we are as of right now on the bumper. I'm going to let this finish drying. And then probably later on tonight or maybe tomorrow, I'll go ahead and sand it and get it ready for paint. All right. Well, anyway, we'll catch you on a little bit. Okay, so real quick before I go inside, uh, I sprayed a little bit of black paint. You don't want to cover the thing. You just want... They make a... I can't remember the name of it. They make a special paint for this, a special paint can to do this with, so you don't end up doing this, but this is not a big deal. Which What I'm doing is I'm spraying this black paint over this primer in order to see where I've already sanded before. So that way you don't go, you don't go far down through the primer into the, into the other coating of the bumper. You can see I just kind of lightly misted it all over the whole bumper. And that way I can see where I've already sanded. So you don't end up going back because it's hard to tell once you have water on this and you're wet sanding where you've sanded and where you haven't sanded. So I went ahead and did that so that way I can see everywhere I've already sanded and I don't have to worry about it anymore. All right. So anyway, like I said, we'll be back in a little bit. Oh man, we are back at it. Oh. My nice little sticker that my daughter gave me. We are going to continue on the bumper for the busted bullet. And today what we're going to do is we are going to wet sand the uh, primer with a 600 grit so we can get it ready for paint and clear. I have it set up right here, ready to go on my nice little stands that are makeshift and don't work very well. But we're going to come in here and we're going to wet sand this entire thing with a 600 grit. And then we're going to spray it. Probably not today, but we're going to spray it with the paint, spray it with clear, and put it on the car, which is sitting way over there. Hi, busted bullet. Let's get to work.
No, all right. So we're done with the sanding, I think. I'll have to double check it after I wash it off. I just took it outside, washed it off uh, to get all the, uh, the wet primer and all that stuff off of it from when I was wet sanding it. I'm pretty sure I got every spot, but um, we'll double check it when we bring it back in here. I'm not gonna take it out there and show you because it's windy and it'll just blow on the camera and it's annoying. But anyway, we'll look at it in just a minute and see where we are. And then after that, tomorrow, I believe it's gonna be nice enough, we are going to paint it and clear it tomorrow. I've got all my supplies. Got our Nason. I use Nason on the car and it works great. I like it. Uh, got Nason base, the dark Highland green base that I have mixed. I went and got some more. And we have our, that's reducer. And then we have Nason clear right here. So we got all our stuff we need. Got everything we need, our supplies, our mixing cups, so we're ready to go. And uh, should be good to go to paint tomorrow. I'll catch up with y'all in just a minute. I'll show y'all the bumper when I pull it back in the garage and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so here we are. You can't really, probably can't really tell one from the other, but finished product, you can see smooth, a little bit of dirt on it. I'll wipe it down, obviously before. You can see finished product, smooth, all ready to go for paint. This is it, there. So tomorrow, we'll start painting it. Got all down in here and everything. It's good, it's ready to go. I double checked it, had to fix a couple of spots on it. Tomorrow, we'll come out here and uh, we'll get it wiped down with a uh, wax and grease remover. We'll tack rag it and then we'll spray it and then clear it after that. And then I think it's supposed to be nice and sunny tomorrow so then we can let it sit out, out in the sun and bake. And then hopefully the next day, put it on the car. All right, well, thank y'all for watching. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow to paint this and continue on the uh, rear bumper of the busted bullet. We'll see y'all then. All right, it's painting day. Woohoo! It's time to paint. It's time to paint the bullet's bumper. All right, first thing we got to do to be able to paint the bumper is move cars out of the way. So what we're going to do is we are going to move that truck, that truck, and then the busted bullet out of the driveway so that way we don't get any overspray on them, right? All right, this truck first. And this one. And last but not least, the bullet. What the heck? Oh, <laughs> it won't move by itself. I gotta go move it. Boy, turns out when you're trying to, you know, keep this from falling down, it does good to make sure you tape the other piece of plastic to the other side. Otherwise, you're just going to keep pulling it down and pulling it down. I've done as good as I can. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so here we are. We're about to take our uh, wax and grease remover, wax and grease remove the bumper. Then we're going to tack cloth it, and then we'll spray the base coat. Remember, it's already sanded. We've already finished the sanding. So, uh, got our little mixing station over here. Use a toolbox, whatever. We use what works. Got our, our wax and grease remover. So, let's get started. for this into our paint gun.
we're gonna let it dry for about 30 minutes and in 30 minutes actually i might just do 20 because it's pretty hot it'll be about 20 minutes and then we'll throw the clear coat on so i'm gonna go ahead and clean the gun and get it ready for clear coat All right, here we are after our first coat of clear. It already looks pretty good, just one coat. But as you can see, you know, you got your gloss now. You don't get your gloss from your base unless you're doing, unless you're mix, mixing your base and clear at the same time, I think. I believe you do, that's how you get that and you mix in a hardener and all that, or a catalyst. Anyway, so this is what we look like now. We're gonna do one more coat of clear. I'll make sure I get the edges really good. Always want to make sure you get the edges first. Uh, I kind of messed up when I was spraying it and I didn't spray the edges first. It's okay, it came out fine. But you do want to get the edges first from what I've been told. So, we're going to spray again. we got some spots right here. Need another layer, or another coat. You can see through here. So, here just a few minutes. We will spray a second coat of clear. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do a third coat because I guess my gun built up pressure or something and it wasn't spraying right. It was kind of weird. So when I pulled the cap off and released the pressure, I don't know what happened. I'm like this. I don't do this for uh, as a professional. So if you know what happened, tell me, please, because I had to pull the top the cap off the uh, off the paint pot on the top. To release the pressure and after i did that it started spraying fine so i don't know if it built up pressure must let's take that little cap out the top of the gun i mean i don't know whatever after i did that it sprayed fine so i've got one side that looks really good the other side that looks like it needs another coat so i'm gonna go ahead and throw on a third coat i'm gonna lightly miss the other side because i don't i don't want to overdo it but uh, i'm gonna let it dry for about 10 minutes and then i'm gonna throw the last coat on and that'll be it for today Just like that, we are done with our clear coat. As you can see, yes, there's some dents in the bumper. That's my bad. I'm gonna let it dry. Came out really good. I'm pretty excited about getting it on the car. So that is gonna end the video for today. The end of the video will be us putting it on the car and seeing how it looks. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you all the, later on. Okay, here we are next day. We are going to take the bumper and put it on the busted bullet today. So uh, what I gotta do is I gotta move the truck out of the way so I can pull the car out. Uh, I do not have any room to work back here, as you can see. I gotta move the truck into the street, move the busted bullet up. So let's do that real quick. Now that that's done, what we're gonna do is we are going to take that bumper and put it right here. But in order to do that, first we have to take off the V6 bumper. 
that is on the car. So I'm going to set this up. I'm going to go ahead and start taking it off. I'll show you real quick. Let me pop this trunk. I don't know what's in here. There could be a bunch of crap in here. Let's see. Oh my God. No, there's nothing. See? Nothing in here. Okay. So what we got to do first, I am missing the thing that attaches this. So first we're going to take this piece out right here so we can get to the nuts that are right here. I think there's four of them in order to take this bumper off. And then we'll pop, it's clipped on the side over here. And then once we get this bumper out, we have to take the wiring harness. There's a wiring harness on it that runs the, uh, runs the license plate light and these side markers here. So we gotta take that out off of this one and transfer it to that, transfer it to that one. So let's uh, get to work on taking this bumper off. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so I'll throw my screws and everything back in, but I want to give you a sneak peek. Wow, what a difference. Looks so much better than the V6 bumper. This ground effects thing going on down here. I don't know, it sets it off a little bit more. Uh, I think I did a better job. I did a better job, I feel like, in painting the bumper than I did the car. Kind of learned a little bit in a short amount of time. Uh, I also did three coats of clear, remember? Three coats of clear on the bumper versus two coats of clear on the car, and I think that helped with the orange peel. Like I said, this can all be sanded and buffed. We can get some of that orange peel out. It'll match a little better. Um, anyway, I think it looks good. I'm going to finish mounting it up and screwing it in and everything so it's secure. Put the license plate on, and then we will be done. Yeah, all right, man, this looks good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I got to pull it out in the in the sun, kind of see how, but it came out great. Man, this came out good. Look at this. It looks great all the way around. Came out really good. Great on both sides. I'll pull it out. Look at it. It's kind of windy right now. I can't really record outside to get a better look. I'll have to wait till it's not as windy to get a full look around. Way better. And then as far as this goes, this damage right here, I am just gonna put a a panel over the back here, a black one. Uh, I can't remember who makes it. I think it's a... Uh, I can't remember. There's a black uh, deck panel that goes over the back there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the one that keeps the bullet symbol or if I'm going to get the one that deletes it. If I do delete it, obviously I'll keep it. But, man, what a transformation. That bumper, it makes a huge difference, that bumper on the back of this car versus this crappy V6 bumper that I had to cut a hole out for the other exhaust. So... Man, okay. I want to thank y'all for following me along in getting the bumper done right now. Uh, so we're finished with that. That's all done. That's gonna be pretty much it for right now other than finishing up the suspension and stuff like that. I've got to put those lower control arms and everything on the front. So that's it for today. That's it for this video. Thank y'all for watching so much. We appreciate it. Please follow us on Instagram. Link's right here. Like the video subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified when we get new content out. Thanks again. Y'all have an awesome day. Later.